Hi everyone, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here at the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver, Canada with President and CEO Chris Taylor. Hello. Chris, third time together here. How's it going, Greg? Good, good. <laughs> it's good to see you here again. And, uh, you know, for this interview, since we've done two of these in the past, I really would like to spend the time drilling down into more specifics about what's actually happening on your projects right now. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the information, because it's it's a live project that's mm -hmm. being drilled right now, you have mm -hmm. to... You can't say certain things, and mm -hmm. we can only cover you know public information. So, yeah. yeah. Um, with that being said, uh, we have two areas of interest. So why don't you explain the two areas that we're we're going to be already drilling and will be drilling okay. at, at some point? Okay. Uh, both on the Dixie project, Dixie I assume we're yeah. speaking about. Yeah. So I think um, sometimes it's helpful for the audience to understand where management's head is at. Right? right. So I think that's sure. pretty much what you're asking. So yeah, the nature of discovery because exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're seeing on our Dixie project in the Red Lake district is effectively it looks to be a very large gold system. So um, when we initially got involved with the property, uh, we had about 500 meters of this very prospective gold bearing geologic contact drilled right. off. We've just completed step out drilling. Uh, which brings that system length so far up to about 2.3 kilometers. And that's where we huge. See it. Oh, the scale of that is huge. It, it is. It's, it's astonishing because if you think about Red Lake and you think about some of the main gold mines, I mean, yeah. this is an area where there's, you know, I, I would estimate there's over 40 million ounces of gold that have been found. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure the exact number that's been mined, but I know that it's well over 30 million ounces. Yeah, it's big and it's high grade. It's world class, right? Yeah. That district is a world class For gold sure. district, which is why we're in there. But you can look at some of those head frames off the historic mines, and they're you know 800 meters a kilometer apart, yeah. right? And and below that, along these similar sorts of contacts to what we're drilling on our yeah. property right now, you'd have, um, for instance, the the Red Lake mine. I've seen cross sections that show that it has you know about 27 million ounces of gold in it. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's amazing to see. So uh, what we're looking at is a similar geologic contact, a high angle uh, contact that goes down probably very deep in the ground and uh, right now like I said we've got the gold system uh, it looks like every hole that's been completed into that contact now across 2.3 kilometers has hit the system Wow! it was really astonishing that's exciting. so we're waiting right now and I would yeah. encourage people to look forward to it is yeah. a couple of drill holes that uh, one stepped out 850 meters and one stepped out 750 meters past that and uh, both of them hit the mineralized system, yeah. and we're just waiting for assays from those. That should be quite good. But in the main area of drilling as well, we're finding additional mineralized zones, gold zones. Like we just put out numbers yesterday morning, and those included um, an ounce and a half material in the, right. in like this what we call the wow. hinge zone, yeah. and then parallel zones to that main mineralized contact. There was something we call it the hanging wall zone. Now it uh, again it was about a meter and a half of about half an ounce, you know, wow. and those are the grades and the widths that end up getting mined in the red. Lake and you district. didn't have this understanding before until this recent drilling, you were explaining to me last night that it's like folded. The yes. mineralization is folded and you have actually two two contact points. Oh, it, it's, a, it's, it's, there's, it's a double it's, 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 <laughs> It gets to the point where I, I, I we, we have this figure that we put in our maps, yeah. right? And it shows that that contact goes for actually and, and don't, I don't want to get ahead of myself no, too I, much, I right? But and it, it's all potential. It's right? all we potential, we know, we understand. But that contact, uh, we did a high resolution geophysical survey last summer. Uh, or last fall, and it shows that the contact is about 10 kilometers long, oh, right? So I, I have no idea. Right now we know at least uh, the system's over that almost two and a half kilometers, but what's really interesting, like you alluded to, is the contact folds over itself very tightly. Yeah. Uh, I'm a structural geologist, I yeah. call it an isoclinal fold. Yeah. Uh, so that means when you take the rock and you fold it back like this, yeah. so that the initial bands are now parallel to each right. other. And so one, one band is what we've been drilling, you know, but it actually goes around a hinge where we, we have now drilled the hinge zone, high grade gold mineralization, and it goes down the other limb, which also keeps going and back. And you, you can drill from the other side, the other limb? We did a test hole. How, how far apart are they? What, 
What is the? It's uh, probably about two or three hundred meters okay. at the most. So it's not something you, with the same drill hole you could drill through both. Or? You, you could. It's longer holes, right? Longer holes. Yeah. So, uh, but they're more expensive to do that. It's probably cheaper just to move the rig. Move and, the rig, and that's yeah. right. You know, yeah. the, the project, it, it's great. It's uh, basically yeah. a clear cut. Right yeah. in the forest, there's a logging company that's removed all the trees, so yeah. it's very easy to get to from Red Lake. Um, and so there's no issue for us just moving the drill yeah. rig and, and, oh, and yeah. hitting it from the other side. But we did a test hole into the other side of the system here in the program, and we announced that on Friday, yeah. and it hit the same system. <laughs> so oh it hit about 32 meters of just this uh, massive silica veining, uh, some visible gold. Um, it, it was. I think uh, we had a couple intervals in there that were about a meter of about three to five grams. You know, we're just getting into the thing, right? Yeah, so nice. um, we, we, we're wondering now, uh, the system actually looks wider in that other limb. Now, I don't know what the gold grade will be yeah. until we go do the drilling, right. but it's certainly there. Right? right. So now we have the whole other part of it that we need oh, to follow geez. up on. So it's been a, uh, for considering, you know, this is a project that our company owns 100% right. with no royalties to anybody on it. And it looks like we're on to definitely a multi-kilometer uh, gold system, and we have very nice grades. Uh, That's very exciting. I mean, know, from from a newsletter writer perspective over the years, I you know these are the kind of exciting stories that really get you know really have the big potential to to make a big jump in share price. So, you know, we'll see what the drills tell us. You know, it's high grade, it's yeah. big, it's a district scale situation, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't help but think that the majors are going to be watching very closely what you're doing. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll find out more about that later, I'm sure. But um, now that's as exciting as Dixie Lake is. You yeah. have another yeah. project that yeah. it has another exciting story going on with Pure Gold right next door. The same district. Right? Same district. So yeah. They're about um, well. Skipping back to Dixie Lake, it's about a 15 minute drive from, from the main Red Lake mine uh, down to Dixie Lake on okay. the highway. It's on the highway. Right, the right off the highway. So we basically, I was just there a few weeks ago. You yeah. stop at Tim Hortons, get your coffee, right, yeah. and then you drink it when you're looking at the drill rig. Right, right. right yeah. So it's, it's great. And uh, That's as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the West Madsen project that you're referring to, yeah. that's about a 15 minute drive from Dixie Lake. Um, again, it's uh, they're kind of two different directions uh, away from the center of Red Lake, but it's right beside the Madsen property from yeah. Pure Gold Mining. And that's a, that's a very, very attractive project from our perspective. Uh, they have over a two million ounce uh, resource here yeah. at uh, eight or nine grams. It's, yeah. a, it's a nice high grade resource. And there's another a couple million ounces of historic mining there. But sort of more immediately important to us is they're drilling what they call the wedge zone uh, about a kilometer, a kilometer and a half from yeah. our claim boundary, and they're hitting very high grade numbers there as well. And they're drilling right up to the edge of your property, right? Well, they're still, from what I know, they're still about a kilometer, a kilometer and a half away. And every map that they put out, we watch their news flow, and right. uh, we, we drive up to our project, obviously, yeah. but we see that they are uh, talking about a structural trend uh, that's yeah. hosting this gold mineralization, yep. and it looks like that trend continues right onto our property. So we'll be having guys in the field here within a couple weeks doing yeah. the first phases of exploration to see where that may extend through. Wow, that's great. So I'm excited because I we're trying to schedule a site visit for me to come up there. Yep. And uh, we're just trying to get the dates all lined up here. Yep. But this is something we'll, we'll get up there, we'll take all the pictures, we'll get the news out to everybody. And uh, boy, just a tremendously exciting project. Investors need to pay attention to this one for sure. Thanks very much, yep. Greg. I look forward to having you out on the property. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yep.